Charlie gonna eat you for lunch, boy. Just keep your head down. Everyone, go! Sir, they're cut off! We are talking about Point Man. This is a 2018 Vietnam conflict movie uh, written and directed by Phil Blattenberger. Now, Vietnam movies don't tend to get much in the way of play these days. Uh, I actually was born just at the end of the kind of the Vietnam conflict and so when I was growing up we had the kind of the uh, uh, the glut of kind of Vietnam movies that were kind of being made in the sort of in the 80s things like Platoon, Hamburger Hill, Full Metal Jacket and as most media uh, comes from America even though we had um, our own war in the UK against uh, Argentina with the Falklands Isles most of the kind of the media that we kind of were exposed to came from America and thus we got a kind of a mass of kind of Vietnam movies that kind of came out uh, that obviously we consumed over here and thus I've kind of they were the kind of the war films that I was exposed to when I was kind of growing up and therefore um, I have a kind of more of a vested interest because they're modern enough to really kind of form part of my memories but kind of exotic enough to feel very kind of foreign and and uh, obviously the moral complexities that we have in any war, but it's, I think especially in Vietnam, make it a thoroughly interesting subject matter. And when I feel that it's maybe a little bit too much of a hot and button topic to be covered by many movies in the modern age. However, we do get a few. So this is a 2018 quite low budget film and it's similar in a way to the previous uh, Vietnam movie, Casualties of War, that starred Michael J. Fox. So we have a platoon of American soldiers, and within this platoon, we are. It's established that there is racial tensions. I believe it's set a year after the assassination of Martin Luther King, and you know, racial tensions are, are kind of an all-time high. And we have this platoon, which is a mix of of, of black and white, you know, Americans, and. Uh, we get a group of four four Americans get cut off from their platoon and are essentially left to their own devices because they are essentially overwhelmed. And we have three three black Americans and one white guy who is it's established is um, sort of comes from a somewhat Confederate background, shall we say? And uh, we go on a kind of a moral journey with these four Americans as they are witness to the horrors that is perpetrated against the Vietnamese civilians by American troops. And what will happen? You have to watch the movie to find out. So let's discuss, first of all, I think works in this movie. Despite this being somewhat similar in a, in a lot of ways to Casualties of War, it's a nonetheless thoroughly um, engaging kind of storyline, I would say. The moral complexities of what actually kind of might have gone on in kind of certain kind of people in the Vietnam conflict certainly doesn't paint the Americans in a particularly good light in this movie. And it does kind of show you the kind of um, the other side of the coin and how, you know, it, it is not always a case of black and white. When we look at, say, for example, World War Two movies, the Nazis are always depicted as being bad and the kind of the Allies always kind of the good bit in Vietnam. The, obviously, it's somewhat more of a, of a murky uh, depiction a lot of the times, and especially in the case of this movie. But I do have some issues with it, so put a pin in it. Just, uh, just, uh, just we'll come back to that in just a second. But nonetheless, I thought it was a thoroughly engaging storyline where we have a group of four. Uh, kind of rogue GIs, so to speak, that kind of almost go vigilante against what they see as war crimes committed by the you know, certain kind of uh, platoons and kind of uh, soldiers and kind of go against orders and ultimately turn against their, their own kind of troops to save uh, what they consider Vietnamese civilians and things like this. So it's, it, it has these very kind of complex moral questions. And within that, we have conflicts with kind of race uh, and, and kind of different kind of personality types as well. So the, the story, I have to say, is very, very intriguing and has a lot of layers to it. 
This movie was actually partially filmed in Vietnam, uh, Vietnam and Cambodia. I think it was, but I believe it was the first Vietnam movie to be filmed in Vietnam, and thus gives it a sense of authenticity when we're kind of looking at the kind of the uh, obviously the landscape and the kind of like the uh, the foliage and things like that. So, knowing that this movie is kind of filmed in that area. You know, you kind of feel like it is. It has that kind of little, little bit of a level of authenticity. I have to say as well, I thought there was some decent uh, character work here. I think some of the characters have some issues, which we'll talk about in a minute. But nonetheless, I did find the characters very engaging, and our it focuses really on these four four GIs who are separated from their their squad, so to speak, and we kind of get to know each of them. And I think the um, they did a good job, I think, of establishing characters, uh, I think, to kind of make them kind of quite recognisable in individuals, uh, which I thought was, was interesting. Uh, and the movie also doesn't give us any kind of real kind of clear-cut uh, good guys and bad guys, so to speak. There are moral complexities with every decision. And I think this is one of the kind of the fascinating things about this kind of, this movie and this, and this subject matter is what you know you have no good decisions you know there's i don't want to spoil what happens in the movie for you but nonetheless there's decisions that these our characters face and there's no good ones it's essentially choosing what they consider the lesser of two evils now was that the right choice well that's up to you to decide but nonetheless i appreciate this the the story kind of gave us that kind of um that narrative however what does not work okay Here's where I think this movie falters a little bit. I think it leans a little bit too hard into uh, moral dilemmas. And I, and I think some of the kind of the way uh, this movie depicts it, for example, all of the kind of the black characters are what you would consider altruistic, whilst all of the kind of the white characters seem to be quite happy with kind of murdering civilians and things like this, rapists, and they're quite happy to kind of like, uh, you know, do war crimes. And I don't know if that was, you know, it, it kind of is a little bit heavy handed, I think. And I, I, it's not particularly subtle. And I think it's kind of um, a little kind of short sighted and makes that I, I think had the movie been a little bit more nuanced of kind of mixing up kind of like, uh, uh, the complexities of, of kind of different types of personalities, regardless of race, I think it would have been maybe a bit, bit more of an interesting film. As it as it stands, we have our our, our three black GIs as the kind of the the moral uh, righteous kind of characters, whilst literally every white character in the movie is quite happy to rape, kill children, things like that. So it's it's. I can see there being problems with that. I think the writing should have been a little bit more. I appreciate they wanted to go for this kind of this race angle here and obviously show uh, the racial disparity within the you know obviously what happened and within the film. But nonetheless, I just I think it may have been an, it's kind of like course corrected too much. I think it didn't do a good job showing you that every single one of these particular kind of white GIs was quite happy to kind of kill and no one kind of really. Uh, you, you know, c complained really whilst it was only the kind of the black GIs that had any kind of like moral um, opposition to kind of murdering what they, what, what they thought was civilians and things like that. So I don't know if that was particularly well handled. The second thing I don't think the acting was particularly good. Now, this is a low budget movie, and a lot of these kind of actors, if it was their f first or kind of early roles, and I'd sadly say, although I think the character work was, was quite good. Some of the acting here is a little bit choppy. Not everyone, and I think even the majority of characters, I think, have scenes where I think they do better, but there are scenes where I feel a little weaker, and it's not helped by some very cringy dialogue. Now, this obviously, the actors are, 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 are performing their dialogue as it's written on the script. I don't think the, the dialogue seems to be very derivative of other Vietnam movies. I think mm, that kind of seems like a very similar character from format or jacker or this kind of character is speaking like a very much like a uh, well-known actor and how they're kind of speaking so the the kind of the the character work here i think is 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 interesting and you get a good sense of the characters but the dialogue is is sometimes quite hammy and i think the delivery of the dialogue also isn't brilliant by some of the kind of the actors here uh, the other thing to note as well, this movie is kind of quite low budget, and I do think it shows in some of the kind of the um, 
especially when we're looking at some of the visual effects, things like muzzle flashes, explosions, and even sound effects, I have to say. I think the sound effects are quite kind of weak here. Um, for example, when we're having gun gunfight and stuff, it almost sounds like it's like just a constant kind of like gunfire sounds rather than kind of like spotted kind of like uh, coming from different areas. And also the kind of the lack of uh, of era music, I think, that is probably quite synonymous with uh, Vietnam movies are kind of associated with kind of 60s and 70s era kind of music. The lack of licensed music, I think, kind of shows, even though you don't have to necessarily to have music over the top of um, the action. I just think it's noticeable in its absence, uh, I think. Overall, I think this movie had a good idea in the uh, in the uh, in the script, but you know, sort of stage of this film, and I think the the story is at its core quite interesting. But I think the execution of it was a little bit clumsily handled, and I think a little too it needed a little bit more nuance in the actual story. And I think some of the um, the more basic approaches to this guy's morally right, that guy's kind of morally wrong. I think it attempts to have a uh, throw a kind of a uh, a shade of grey over it, but in, in its execution, I think it needed to be more nuanced with having, um, you, you know, different characters having different kind of uh, personalities and opinions of certain things, and it didn't quite work in that in that respect. Overall, it was a decent idea, and it's nice to see a, a kind of a, of a more modern Vietnam film, certainly one which is more character-based rather than action-based. There is action in this, but this is more of a uh, somewhat, somewhat of a, more of a dramatic uh, film than to, uh, certainly an all-out war film. Although there are, you know, a reasonable amount of, of kind of what we consider action as well. Uh, the Vietnamese, the Vietnamese characters, as I've got to say as well, aren't re don't ever really get much in the way of characterization either. So they're just kind of there. Overall, it's a good attempt, but I think it's kind of a little bit uh, amateur in places. And I think it starts with the kind of the script. Uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.